So I'll be showing you how to use the instafeed.js version 2. It supports the new Instagram basic display API. So the changes from the version 1 are that you need to have a Instagram token service agent running to refresh your token. So in here it will be running on Heroku. Uh, so you don't have to do anything after the initial setup. It will automatically refresh the token. I'll show you an example of what I have done. So this is my Instagram feed on my website. So if I click on one of the post, uh, it will take me directly to my Instagram as you can see. So the first step is to create a initial token, get an initial token from Facebook. For that, you need to go to developer.facebook.com and you need to have a Facebook developer account. It's easy, you just need to verify uh, using your mobile number. After that, click on My Apps. Then click on Create App. Uh, choose the third option and give the app a unique name. I then click on create app ID. Uh, click on submit. Now here go to settings basic. Uh, scroll down and you will have a option to add platform click on that choose website and provide your website URL click on save changes now go to products if you scroll down you can see Instagram basic display Click on setup. And create new app. Click on create app. Now in the client settings, you need to provide the website URL. In these three boxes then click on save changes after you have done that you need to click on add or remove Instagram testers then here click on add Instagram testers now provide the username so mine is then you will see it has pending now go to instagram.com and log into your account go to your profile click on this settings icon and choose apps and websites now in the test invite section uh, accept the invite now go back and click on Instagram basic display uh, you need to have a public Instagram account for this to work it won't work on private Instagram account 
so click on generate token login again and click on authorize now this is the initial token you need to have this uh, for the next step so copy it and click on done that's it for the first step so next you need to deploy the instagram token agent on heroku so go to this page i'll provide the link in the description here uh, you need to have a heroku account uh, you need to have a verified heroku account verification requires credit card but running this agent uh, doesn't cost you anything so click on deploy to heroku now give the app a name so like it has to be unique so I'll be something like this choose your website as you can see it runs on free add-on so you need so there won't be you don't need to pay anything and this is important you need to add your website here um, and copy the app name here also now here you need to provide the token that you have gotten from facebook uh, and click on deploy app now i have done this uh, so i won't be doing it again uh, it will take some time to deploy just wait and after you deploy it uh, you can see the app on your Heroku page click on that now if you want to edit uh, the values you have given you can go to settings and press on reveal config variables and you can edit everything here now go back uh, if you have done everything correctly even you click on open app you will be seeing something like this uh, and you will be provided a script tag uh, so the, uh, the token will be stored in a global constant uh, which is this Instagram token now for adding this to your website uh, go to this stuffy.js page uh, go to disk folder and copy this stuffy.mid.js file onto your project so basic setup look like this you need to have a div with the id of insta feed and this is the script uh, script i'll show you what i have done so here i have the div called insta feed uh, all the uh, uh, posts will be placed inside this div um, so first I have added the Heroku uh, provided, uh, script provided by the Heroku app after that I have also added the instafeed.min.js file which I have placed in my project folder 
So in the script section, as you can see, I have provided the access token. You need to just copy and paste this in your program, in your web page file, and replace it with this Instagram token here. Instagram token constant. So the limit uh, mean, just means that the maximum number of posts that will be displayed on your page and the template I will show you what the template means so the default template is this uh, anchor tag with the image in it uh, so I have edited that and added a div class with image overlay and image title and this will get me the caption uh, the description from my Instagram account uh, so I can uh, use something like this so if you click on this this is taken directly from my Instagram description I have also done some basic styling uh, to the div this is for the image overlay and so that basically it uh, that's all you need to do